Very unusual find along the beach. Sea snake, I've never seen this before. I don't know if he's very sick or what. I'm not accepting sea snake ID. Yeah. How many sea snakes have you seen, Billy? Two. Can you say sea snake, sea snake really fast ten times? No. <laughs> I haven't seen this tree for a while. Um, Bohemia, or there's a couple of different sites. There's white and there's red, and that, that all depends on the actual flowers. But you've got a pretty mad sort of leaf on them. Um, the timber is normally fairly pale with a very black centre, but as it dries out, you get like uh, red streaks through the black heart of the timber. Um, very nice. Sort of timber and this is a few different types of the tree um, so if there's some flowers on I could show you but there's red bohemia or white I'm pretty certain it is um, the red I know is definitely over in Queensland because I've got some from over there um, so anyway it's another tree species um, some people might be interested others not so much but anyway that's it red bohemia yeah, nice, nice timber as well. This tree here is um, a top of beefwood. I think it's silver beefwood going off the bark. That's the long leaves on it. Um, so that's the bark. It's a very pale, pale grey. Normally you get the real black is the um, normal beefwood, which is a chocolate brown. Um, obviously looks like a piece of steak, that's why it's called beefwood. Um, this one here, we'll see if we can snap a little piece off. And you can see it's very, very pale. 
Uh, if I get it in the sun, there you go. And that's the whole colour of it. Um, looks like oak with the banded um, stuff in it, but that polishes up quite nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, I think that's the silver beef wood. Um, yeah. So this is paper bark. Nice little yellow flowers up here. Pretty cool paper bark tree. As you can see, old paper bark. Just because you can pull it off, just like paper. Can even write on it sometimes if you're lucky enough to pull a piece off. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's that tree. Um, yeah, everybody's got a bit of a small this board going on. I haven't seen a few of these trees for quite some time because I haven't been up this area for a while. So anyway, that's the um, tea tree. Um, in New Zealand, it's called uh, Manuka. Is the same tree, but in New Zealand, that's what it's called. So if you obviously get some honey from tea tree basically the same as manuka honey a lot of people don't know that um, anyway you do now rightio here we are some more bloody trees again so this is that another variant of that um, minarich it's not as red you can sort of see now i'm rubbing the bark off it's gone a bit more red but this is a small variant um, as you can see it's got a round leaf instead of a long skinny one um, yeah, anyway, these ones here only grow quite small. As you can see, there's quite a few along here. But they normally, um, sort of more like this one, sort of just grow up, big base, and then grow up and then spread out. Here's a bit of a dead bit. I better show you some of the timber. No, no, didn't want to break off. Look like this bit. Uh, it's not a very good thing, but anyway, it's normally like a light brown sort of colour. Let's see if we can get a bit better bit up here. Anyway, it's normally like a nice little brown colour. Um, here it gets a few grubs in it. Anyway, it's just another type of that, or subspecies, this variant that has a peeling red, red bark. And yeah, this one's got little round leaves instead of the other sort. So there's definitely quite a few subspecies of it, that's for sure. Oh my god! Oh, now he's, now he's away, Billy. Did you film him? Yeah. Yeah, yo! Whoa! Got him, Billy? Bite of the butt! Oh no, bite him now.